Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Zoomed out to show you, where is it? Over there. Love life, love life, silicone mats that somebody graced me with so I could share with you. And this is the first time I've laid them out. Now I've refocused and I went to Target. I had like four days off <laughs> when the weather became 50 degrees and rainy and clouds and no sun and just nasty entirely. So that's my new $2.50 tray, which I intend on using to put paint in. And I hope that works. This is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. And right now, even though I'm a little chilly, I am going to grab an OXO omelet turning spatula and decide what I want colors around my edge. Oh, big news, by the way. So all the time, We've been using rubber erasers for the caps on our bottles or wire nuts and they get all plugged up with paint. I left the caps off my bottles on purpose for these four days and I just finished shaking them all up. But before I shook them up, I tested to see if they were open and not one of them was, was closed. All of them were open. So I am for a while going to discontinue using caps on my paint. I know it doesn't make sense, but that's a little tiny air hole to congeal a whole lot of paint on the surface in there. And uh, I used to paint houses, interiors, exteriors, and um, it takes a long time for a, for a mass of paint to skim over. So I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to put this aside for right now and pick my background color. Whoop. I did shake that. I know I did, <laughs> but I'll do it again. So that's a nice uh, deep deoxidine, or however you say that, blue, uh, excuse me, purple. And I think I'm just going to give myself ultimate permission. Where's my gold? I just shook that, too. Okay, there it is. To, um, to probably just spatula a background into place. And what I think is I'm going to make puddles of colors that I wouldn't mind seeing there. And then pick up the residuals with my spatula. Let's see if I can do anything that I'm talking about. I just want a background color. And I don't need a tremendous amount of paint because my next plan is to... Uh, oh, you know what? I don't know if I left myself any balloons. That could mean... that could make balloon rolls rather difficult. I think I did leave myself some balloons and there's one right now. Cool. Hey, I like it when a plan attempts to come together. So I have just got this mishmash of beautiful colors in my background, some of which are metallic and some of which are art mines. The mystique, the mysterious, excuse me, is uh, I hear rumors that it's being discontinued. That's by art mines and it's a beautiful color. And I don't really mind what's here. I expect that there will be an opportunity to have paint fall down over the edges that I can use to cover the sides. Although I seem to have quite a bit of it on my spatula right now. So I'm just gonna take it, take a moment <laughs> and get rid of some of that. Now I have an edge catcher. I have smaller edge catchers too, just little pieces of card. And as long as I scrape my paint off onto one, I can still use that as long as it stays wet. And it's cold out here today by comparison. I'm going to wipe that off on my dampened cotton studio rag, which is a really indispensable tool. And uh, I think what I want to do to the center of this is to give myself some white pearl. And just, let's see where to start. And just spread that around a little bit. Now, if it turns out I don't like what I'm doing, then I will probably add chain or a basting brush. All those things are possible. But for right now, I'm just going to try and fill my center. I kind of thought I was going to use a round circle and sort of place it, but I didn't do that, did I? And I do see that thing that is probably a bubble. Yep. Not going to worry about that either right now. So I think I have enough of that. And what I want to do I'm going to do over to the side, I guess. Wait, I have a new surface I can use. I'm going to put that canvas away. I reorganized my studio right before it got cold. 
And so what I'm going to do is take my balloon out and put some colors. Oh, I got a red spider. No, I don't want you in there. Put my colors wherever. And I want some a bunch of colors that I love, obviously. Duh. And I want to go a little bit outside my comfort zone, i.e. the the neon and I'm not sure how this is going to work. I think if I want to change the pattern up in the dip colors, I will do so by adding either a fork or a spatula into there, into those colors. And I have no idea how this is going to work, but this is a good day to do this as far as it not being warm for a change. I think I'm going to use some of that. And I love the green with the gold and the turquoise color shift from folk art is fabulous. What else do I want in there? Some more of this uh, very dear to me now mysterious from Art Minds. And I'm just going to, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to keep going. I'm going to add a little more purple. Gosh, I hope this works. <laughs> <laughs> really, really. That's the minty green, another color shift. And I think the only thing I'm really missing other than some of the some more of the pinks that I want. Yeah, that's what I want right there. I think is magenta. I know there's no orange in there yet. I'm thinking about it. Truly, I am. And uh, the magenta benefits from having some white near it the same as the um, as the neon pink and the purple from from Folk Art that's a multi-surface acrylic. I'm going to get some of these out of my way in case I want to do something different. Oh, I have an Art Minds orange, and I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. It's way more like copper, but I guess I'll put some of that in there. Is it Art Minds? It's, uh, it's, I think it's a new little six ounce container. Anyway, it's a, it's a different kind of paint. It's metallic. So I'm going to take that tray, put it to my side, I'm going to take the rest of this paint on my turntable off and put it onto my card. So if I want to use it, I can. Why don't I just put that right in there? You know what else I want to do? I think I want to go... and put white in there everywhere. I don't know if this is going to be enough paint or not, but I intend to find out. So, I think for a start, I'm going to use a ring. I'm going to attempt to make a circle in the center. And I'd like it to be a good circle, and I don't recommend you try and do it freehand either. You could use chalk as an outline. Yeah, I see it. Bye-bye. Thing that does not belong <laughs> that I put there. I'm going to use a skewer just to nudge that bead of paint over from the center. I'm going to grab my balloon and uh, make sure that I have something to wipe it off on. And I'm going to put my spatula in the bucket because I have another spatula should I need one. And I'm going to start, I think I need to start at the outside. Okay, rethink. So I'm going to go around the outside. because I want to stack, I want to layer in. We'll see how this works, <laughs> especially since I splooged to begin with, but I think that's going to go away in a minute anyway. This is basically just my idea of how to make a wreath. And it should fill in after, because I'm pretty sure the colors are just going to get more and more interesting as time goes on. I'm going to have to roll that balloon a little more carefully. Here goes my mistake. There you go. Bye-bye, mistake. So I'm just bouncing that balloon down and letting, lifting it off and letting the trail leave. Yes, and I'm filling in. I see that. <laughs> Instincts take over sometimes. 
Who knows what this is going to look like? <laughs> Dragon scales, maybe. Dragon scale wreath. Like I said, I've got chain. Whoop. I've got chain. I want some white there. Not that I got it. If you want white and you're not getting it from your mix of colors, you can always put it directly on the balloon. So you see my background colors really didn't make much of a difference at all. And I am just continuously dipping and pulling and twisting. Twisting my wrist. And layering my petals from the outside in so that I won't have any space, any canvas showing, which I might still decide I can fill by just wiggling a skewer around in there. But I really kind of wanted to do this for a while. I have little tiny balloons. Ooh, that's neat. That's really neat. That I think I'm going to use for small petals and so on. So that makes me want to check for whatever. I've got all kinds of cool cells. I'm going to fill in the places I left out. I'm going to decide what goes on in that center. I'm going to experiment. Just pouncing. I kind of want to uh, leave that alone now, to tell you the truth. I've got a few trails too many. I'm going to use the colors that I have left in my dish, and first the ones on my balloon, to cover my edge, which I think is going to work really, really well. Not sure how the center is going, but I'm not hating it either. Huh. Still not sure how I like that. I think I could probably pull some things out, but I'm not sure if I'll keep the continuity of my design. Let me get rid of this paint on, this, on the balloon. As long as the drips that are going down over the side are moist, then I can probably... This looks like it's a cute little wave in the center there right now, honestly. Um, but... I'm not adverse to using other tools, which means there could be, you know, skewers involved very shortly. The first side that I had purple on, I want to I want to cover that ever so slightly too. I don't know why I turned my turntable, honestly. So it's an experimental piece, and it has a saw blade in its center, and a really cute wave, too. Um, I'm just going to keep using my colors, and then I might, might be so brazen as to attempt to uh, scrape them up into one pile and hope that I can remove them to use on another artwork in a minute. We'll see how I feel about that in a minute. In the meantime, I can torch this. I can look for any little spaces that might be construed as canvas, and I don't see very many, if any. I do see another side that doesn't have nearly enough balloon pounces on it. I can just roll that right up over the edge and it will cover it just perfectly. And uh, how, how covered am I? I keep turning this because I want the edge hanging over. So I can pounce the balloon without getting it all over my tile. I see that one spot. I know you see it too. <laughs> and there we go. And another one. I just want to grab some dark and put a few more dabs in a few more places. A 
where it looks like I didn't get anything in there. I'm not so sure I'm as happy about that center as I want to be. It's not, um, it's not bad, it's just not doing what I want it to do. So, I think I'm just going to take some more paint from my pan and I'm just barely touching it. And I should be wiping it off, I understand that, and you probably could. But as long as I feel like I have some good colors there, I'm going to worry about it less. I didn't completely get rid of my wave, and that's okay with me. It's a wave flower! It's an odd duck. <laughs> what can I say? I got a little background color there, and I think I like it. Um, I think I'm done, too. Wow, that's perfect timing, isn't it? I got two minutes to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you, which is I do sell my artwork. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill. I think I want something else in that center. Like, like something that's going to make me feel happy. And it's odd, but it's okay. So what else? Um, my book is called Because I Can, and we're coming out with a new one, hopefully for uh, Christmas 2019. And it should be called Volume 2, Fluid Acrylics Pouring, Unlimited Possibilities. And I like that better. It's still weird, but I still like it better. <laughs> um, so what else should I say? If you would share my videos, it would be of a great assistance to me. If you would give me a thumbs up, it would be great assistance to me. If um, if you watch the commercials, it's a very great assistance to me. If you get notifications and you notice you are not receiving any, check your notifications because both notifications and subscriptions get ended and you have to restart them to get them back. I see that spot right there. It's not making me happy. Whoa. Okay. No harm. No harm, no foul. So we torched to release the bubbles in the paint. Apart from shaking the bottles, in my case, with pouring medium. I see that strange, strange mark there, and I think it can go up a little bit, so I'm camouflaging it. It really is a cute little wave, and I really do love waves, so it's kind of perfect, actually. So, if you're looking for a Facebook group for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, it's for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors, it's for fans and collectors, Expressionist Art Studio totes and more, it's for shoppers, it's Christmas, at least right now, and um, if you go there and you find the Shop Now button, it'll bring you to my Fine Art America and Pixels.com, and on this particular date, I placed yesterday a whole bunch of um, upcoming sales on there, so you might find what you're looking for. If you look under the video, you're going to find Teespring. And Teespring has uh, all of my potential leggings. Yes, I'm going to... I can't stop. There we go. Much happier with that now. Well, I say that. <laughs> I want some pink over there. Yes. And I keep thinking I can just pull things out. And I probably can. I like that okay. I'm not doing too bad. This is what's left of the paint. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. I'm going to stick my balloon right in my bucket so I can get it wet. And I'm going to say, I love you guys. If you're looking for Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, Pinterest, my paint pouring recipe, or the description of the video, look under the video under Show More. And if you want to go shopping for um, any of the Princeton Artel Catalyst spatulas or canvases or my OXO omelet turning spatula, the Amazon link under Show More will also bring you there. I just kind of want to use the blunt end of my skewer and drag through a few things to see what kind of difference it makes. But I'm a little nervous about going too far. But that never seemed to stop me before. Because you can always make marks in the paint as long as it's not super glopped up, which I should not be doing <laughs> now that you mention it.